Well, the other big story, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg will face another round of tough questioning on Capitol Hill today. A big focus is that massive privacy scandal that affected tens of millions of users. During questioning yesterday, Illinois Senator Dick Durbin tried to put the breach in terms more people may be able to relate to. Just listen to this. Would you be comfortable sharing with us the name of the hotel you stayed in last night? Um, <laughs> uh... No. If you messaged anybody this week, would you share with us the names of the people you've messaged? Uh, Senator, no, I would probably not choose to do that publicly here. I think that may be what this is all about. Your right to privacy, the limits of your right to privacy, and how much you give away in modern America in the name of, quote, connecting people around the world. Senator Dick Durbin really driving it home. Uh, joining us now with a look at Zuckerberg's testimony is Megan Reese, senior national security fellow at the R Street Institute. She also is live blogging Zuckerberg's testimony for the Lawfare blog site. And thank you for coming on. You know, I think the thing that caught me yesterday with Mark Zuckerberg, um, he did seem very contrite, at least from the bits and pieces that I saw. I didn't watch the entire uh, grilling and testimony, but he did seem that he like he was genuinely apologetic. Will that do anything to sort of ebb the flow of people saying, okay, Facebook, enough is enough, we're out of here. Yes, I think that he was very consistently apologetic throughout the entire hearing, and the hearing lasted for hours. Mm -hmm. This was five hours of him saying over and over, we're sorry this happened, this was a breach of your confidence, but we are taking specific steps to fix it. And so I think, I think that's what people are responding to at the moment, is he just repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly said, we don't want people to distrust mm -hmm. us. It's one thing to say I'm sorry, and you're t talking about steps you're going to take. Is it enough, though, from what you heard, is it enough to, that Facebook is, is putting the effort there to stop this privacy, uh, this, this uh, continued uh, breach of privacy? I, I think that there is a probably 50% chance that this is going to lead to some regulation from Congress. I think when you're talking about third party users getting data from individuals who didn't specifically consent to it, like in the Cambridge Analytica right. scandal, you're going to have a lot of issues and you're going to have Congress wanting to get involved. Whether or not they do it in the right way or if they do it effectively is the big question. I was surprised to learn that after all of this, you know, a lot of investors were very pleased with what they heard and Facebook stock went up. How does that happen? Well, I think that Facebook announced a number of things they're doing to try to, to make some of these worse things not happen in the future. So they're talking about the Russia election interference, for instance. They're trying to create a system so that outside users users outside of the U.S. won't be able to buy political ads in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And that means that interference is going to be much much more difficult. And so I think that's the sort of thing that, that the markets were right. responding to. They're actually, Facebook is trying to take efforts to circumvent Congress having to fix everything. Very quickly, Facebook does not clean up its act. Uh, what sort of a toll does this take on users? I, I think that... People are finally understanding what the data that they put out in the public is going to. Right. It's going to advertisers and it's going to companies that want to want people to buy things. And I think that's people are finally getting an understanding of that. And whether or not they choose to put less information right. online, that's the big question. I always say at the end of the day, I think the onus is on you to take, you know, responsibility for your information and what you know you're clicking on and, and put out there. I agree, but does my grandmother know that? And that's the true, big question. True. All right, well, Mark Zuckerberg getting grilled by the House today. Um, you're going to be streaming the whole thing. Yes, we'll, we'll be watching the whole thing once again. Megan Reese, <laughs> thank you for your insight. Thank you. All right, Tucker, over to you. Um,